Okay, let's do our warm ups and just a little bit of something for everything today. So spread your toes, get them hip, hip width apart, pointing straight ahead, knees going toward your second toes, sitting bones going down, hips nice and open with that core active, ribs toward your spine and up, feeling that lengthening and support for your low back. Shoulders back and down, and just reach the crown to the ceiling while you spread your toes out. And take a moment to close your eyes, just focusing and or getting into your yoga perspective. And keeping that inner focus, just exhale any stress and tension. And inhale your arms to shoulder them. Stretch those fingertips out with the shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keep the shoulders down. Hands behind you, just clasp them gently at the fingers and press toward the floor, lifting your heart, head reaching back. And then exhale, pivot at your hips, come on over. So just deepen as far as you'd like to go. And bend your knees a little bit, lift the hips maybe a little bit more. Move your chin around, get everything just releasing a little bit. And then knees slightly bent, and slightly in, start at the bottom of the spine, work all the way up into that upper body for your back bend, spreading your toes, stretching your spine. And just take a few breaths there, lengthening and breathing. And as you inhale, come upright, release your arms, feel what's going on internally for you as that energy flows and warms up your spine. And again, arms reaching out at shoulder level, hands to your chest, keep those elbows a little back, remember. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way that I use. So shift the fingers one position over. Press the hands toward the floor just gently as you lift your heart. You feel that opening across the chest. Pivot at your hips, exhaling, and deepen as far as you'd like to go. Spread your toes, reach those hands toward your head, and then slowly work your way up once more from the bottom of the spine all the way up into the back bend. Lengthen into it. Feel the base of the toes, balls of the feet, evenly sinking along with the heels. And then inhale upright, exhale and release. Feel your spine getting a little bit warmer after that forward bend and backward bend. And we'll do the side stretches now. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and bring your body into that stretch. Shoulders down, lift one side up, and come up on the opposite toes so that that side you're stretching is flat. And get that side opening through the ribs. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one. Lengthen, get those ribs expanding, coming up on that toe on that opposite. Exhale down, bring both arms up, stretch toward the ceiling. And last one, bring your arms back by your ears, stretch long through your head and fingertips, spread your toes and evenly into your feet. We no twist over to the side. And just lengthen out, feel those ribs stretch. Push the foot, you're leaning away from down for that extra opening. And then inhale back upright, keep the shoulders down and switch the other hand to the front. Again, spread the toes, everything straight, and lean to the side. Push the foot, you're leaning away from down for that extra stretch. Get those ribs really open in the front. And again, inhale coming up. And exhale the hands back to your sides. Shoulders back and down. Feel those ribs, that sideways motion to the spine activated. And next, we're going to stretch the spine apart for our twist. So, the base of the skull, the base of the spine, move in the opposite directions. Arms shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch the spine apart, and exhale to twist. Take a breath. And exhale over. Deepen as far as you'd like to go. See if you can keep the weight on both feet evenly. 
Keep lifting through the hips. Relax through the shoulders. Or maybe a little closer toward your leg. And then inhale and stay in the twist as you work your way back up. Upper body back, good. Over the way, remember, no pressure in that low back while you're twisting. Elbows back, chest lift and maybe a loop. And then inhale, upright. Exhale, back to the center and switch your arms. Spread your toes. Stretch your spine apart. And exhale, and twist to the other side. Another foot. And exhale, open. And again, deepen as much as you'd like on this side. See if the weight's still on both feet evenly. Arms next to your ears. And on an inhalation once more, work your way up in the twist into that upper body with the back bend. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and we're going to back. Again, a breath or two there as you stretch things open. And then inhale upright. Exhale back around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips point the ceiling. Get into that extended mat. And just feel your body sink evenly into those feet. Turn straight ahead. Breathe. Breathe in. Breathe the whole spine. And then let's swan that. So arms to draw your level. Pivot at your hips. Bring that chest forward. Stretch out through the fingertips. Everything straight and stretchy. And then drop into right elbow, just hang, or pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you like that extra stretch on your back. Release your hands to the front. <clears throat> okay, pick up your toes and bring your fingertips under the base of your toes. The bubble is so your toes come down onto your fingers, maybe into your palms, and then see if you can straighten your knees and your spine. So gorilla pose. It's a good stretch for that lower back. And if you can't quite get those hands under your feet, just on top of them or fists to the floor. And then <clears throat> releasing your hands from under your toes, hang and rag doll, bend your knees slightly, and then again, work your way up, shoulders back and down. And into mountain pose. Just feel a little bit more opening through that spine this morning or afternoon, wherever you are. <laughs> so take a moment to breathe and focus inward. Let's bring the arms to shoulder level. Bring the fingertips together in front of your heart. Elbows back, separating your fingertips. Keep the elbows right at shoulder level. And then back together. And then separate your hands, pull them around all the way towards the back, or as far as they want to go. And then back to the center. So elbows back, fingertips together. Separate and swing all the way around and back as far as they want. And then back, fingertips together. Keep those elbows upright, shoulder level. Open once more. And all the way around, wherever your arms go. Back together and release. I just feel those shoulders, circle them around a couple of times. Take a breath or two and then let's bring the arms out again to shoulder level. Bring the thumbs inside your and make a gentle fist go down your palms. Push out through the fist, up through the brain. Then turn one right up and one down. And then reverse. And just move those fists one up and one down as you push out through your head, down your fists. Sink evenly into your feet. And then bring that lower arms in along with that twist. Elbows included. And then upper arms. And then really get into the shoulders, bringing it forward as you push that fist down. And then releasing it back up. As you turn the other way. So just get that whole upper body and getting a little bit of motion through the shoulders all the way to the middle of your spine. Keep pushing those fists away. And then release the shoulders, just the arms. Keep the hands at shoulder level. 
And then just the lower arms. And finally, just the wrist. And then stop. Tighten around your thumbs with those fists. Tighten, 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 tighten. Make it like a bud and the flower all crunched in together. Push out through the fist. Tighten them a little bit more. And then we're going to National Geographic, slow motion, flower blooming, release our fingers. So those fingers just find a rest gently, slowly, 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 reaching down, stretching them slowly, slowly, slowly to fully extended, and then let those. Palm flowers reach up to the sun of the sky. Push out through the hands, through the palms. Push it a little bit more. And shake everything out. Shoulders and arms. Just feel that whole upper body a little bit more circulated. To bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, follow your hands toward the ceiling, looking at your thumbs. Pull them behind you, lifting your heart, and this little back bend as deep as you got it. Swan dive again forward, arms separating out, but in your hips, chest leading. Stretch it out halfway down, and everything nice and straight. Drop into red ball. Slide the hands up under your knees for that halfway up stretch, lengthening through your full spine. Exhale, drop your hands back down, tuck in your chin. Bend your knees, hands together, bring them to your heart, and then all the way toward the ceiling once more, looking at them for another back bend as you pull them down. Lift that heart, stretch your neck, remember, don't lift your chin too high, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Release, and just take a moment to stretch that spine apart, and we'll do a little twist. So from one side to the other, just follow your hands around. Let your whole body turn a little deeper at each end of that circle. Keep the head reaching up and just letting those arms gently guide you. Take a breath or two, really relaxing the head as you move. And then back to the center. Shoulders up and down. In fact, let's do the back stroke and swimming. Bring those arms up and around. Get those shoulders released. And back to the center. Turn the toes out just slightly. Turn the whole legs so the knees are still going toward your second toes. Bend your knees over your foot, not beyond the toes. Spread the toes themselves. Spine nice and straight as so you put your hands above your knees. Just position without support. And then we're going to bring our body again into a twist. Stretch the spine apart, sitting bones back and down forward. And then reach that shoulder across as you bring the hip around to the other side, turning your whole body to look toward the side. So hip, rib, shoulder, looking to the other side. And not a lot of pressure in those knees, just enough to help you guide yourself into that position. Get a good stretch going with that spine. In the twist. And exhale, just relax deeper if you love it. And then inhale back to the center. Stretch long and apart with the spine so we can twist to the other side as you exhale. So again, turning hips, ribs, shoulder to the side, bringing the hips slightly back and around, and that shoulder across to the angle. Take a breath or two, lengthening and stretching in that twist. Breathe in into it. And exhale and turn back to the center. As you get back to the center, just round slightly, coming back all the way up, shoulders back and down, coming into a mountain pose with those toes of that straight in. Hands to your front. And again, inhale, following your hands up. Another back bend because we love back bends in yoga. And exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting over, dropping into it. One more up, halfway up, stretch with the hands under your knees on your shins, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Remember, don't push the chin forward, keep it looking good. And then bend your knees, transition the floor into child's pose. 
Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Coming into that good forward bend stretch. Bring your knees together for a little extra low back stretch or a part if you want to breathe more easily. Take a breath or two. Drop that forehead toward the floor, maybe a little bit more if that works. Running inhalation, come on up into a stacking position with those legs out in front. Push out through the bottoms of your feet, through the heels, pull the toes back toward you. Put those sitting on slightly behind you. Shoulders back and leg. Let them relax right above your hips. Get that core active, supporting your spine. And don't forget to breathe. And we'll warm up our hips a little bit. So bend your knee, run the right leg and run down to the floor. Keep it up on your thigh a little bit, wherever it goes along your leg. You can add a little weight, but not pressure. If you'd like that knee to come down a little bit more and open that hip a little bit further, you can bring the leg over to the side and let the pelvis open a little bit more easily. So just do what's right for your body, breathing into it, exhaling any, any stress or tension in that hip, letting your knee be toward the floor as much or as little as it wants to remember personal practice. Never force it, that just makes the muscles resist and they don't go as well. Take a breath, let it relax. And we'll continue warming up that outside of your hips. So bring your foot and knee into your hands, wrap your arms around your leg and we're just moving side to side getting that hip warmed up a little bit more take a breath or two just relax and keep your spine nice and straight with that core supporting your low back crown reaching toward the ceiling and if you're loving this work out on the outside of your hip you can bring the leg higher or closer and make it a little more intense if you want to but don't go there if it's not something your body wants to do. And then release that leg. Do your yoga, noticing the difference on the two sides. So yeah, we gotta balance the body, bring that other foot up. And again, just let that knee come down on its own. Make it easier with the leg up to the side or add a little weight with your hands, but not pressure. So again, knee up, toes up on that foot that's going out, just pushing that knee up through the bottom of the foot, sliding this knee, gravitate down toward the floor. Don't forget to breathe into it. The more you exhale, remember the muscles will release a little bit more easily. So just let it happen on your own, of course, when you do your sitting on the floor, watching TV, multitasking positions, you can just hold this position a whole lot longer, letting that opening happen. But for now, we're just going to bring the foot and knee into your hands, or wrap around, pull it in, and move it back and forth. So again, feel what's going on in your body. Notice how it's working for you. If it's easy and you're loving it, do it more intensely. If it's just a challenge, just be gentle. It's always personal practice in your yoga. Take a breath. Just relax, shoulders released, more active, spine stretching apart. And when you're ready to release that one, bring it back into staff position, pushing up through the bottoms of your feet. Take a moment to breathe. Let's continue with those hip openings with a little butterfly position. Feet together, knees out toward the side. Get those sitting bones a little further behind you if that's working for you. That kind of helps to release that. Inner thigh, hip only. And again, knees coming down. You can add a little weight with your arms if you like, but not pressure. Again, core active, ribs in and up, keeping that spine nicely supported, no rounding either way. And then bring your hands under your shoulders right behind you. Just fingertips down or palms, whatever works for you. Just, just jumping into the floor and lift your chest a little bit more and just kind of nervous. Maybe those knees will come out and down a little bit further or not. So breathe, exhale, and tension, just relaxing. Noticing what your body is doing. Kind of bottoms of the feet up toward the ceiling if that works to kind of help align that knee hip opening. 
And then release your hands. Lift your knees. Bring those legs back out into step position. Feel your hips, feel your body a little bit ready for some more intensity. So let's work both the arms and the hips. Yeah, cow's head pose. It's a little intense. If you've got a strap in your body, you might want it so that you can clasp those hands behind you closer. So sitting bones behind you as we start, we'll do the legs first. So bend your right knee way out to the front. Right heel over your left hip, someplace or back to the side, wherever it goes. And then left knee on top, bringing that heel back near your right hip. Get them as aligned as it works for your body. And again, get those sitting bones slightly behind you. Yes, some people call this a torture position, but it's really not. It's just something that your body will get used to as we work the upper body those hips you will release more. So you've got your left knee on top, bring the right arm up, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, bend the elbow, bring that hand down on your neck, push your head back into the arm, because we don't want to round the spine, we want that spine still nice and straight. Take your other hand on the elbow, push it down, so that that hand slides straight down your spine, if that works for you. And just feel that shoulder open. And then if you've got your strap, you can hold it in that upper hand. Bring the other hand around and see if you can press it behind you. Some people do on one side. Some people do on only the other side. Some people do on both. And some people don't do either. So if you don't have a strap, you can just hold your shirt and get those fingers as close toward each other as they want to go. Don't forget to keep pushing that head back. And as we're working with those arms coming into our interesting position, those hips are probably releasing a little bit more. Just be aware of that because usually when we ignore something, it does relax a little bit further. And oh yeah, don't forget, you can keep exhaling. And that also helps things move a little deeper into the position if they want to go. So again, elbows in and stretching away from each other, right along that spine line. And those hips just sinking toward the head. Take a breath. Exhale, release your arms and oh, feel those shoulders getting more circulation through. Oh, and yeah, go ahead. Release those legs. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Take a breath. And of course, exhale that stress that's coming because you're thinking, oh my gosh, we're going to have to do that on the other side. But yeah, we got to balance it. So left knee bending right out to the front, you know, over near that right hip or wherever it goes up to the side. And the right knee coming as much right on top as possible. Those knees will probably never get near each other unless you've got incredibly open hips. Don't force it. It's okay. Just do what's right for your body. Just kind of sink evenly as much as you can. This one hip may be up a little bit. That's okay too. Don't worry. Just do what's right for your body. Right knee on top. So left arm out. Shoulder down. Don't forget. Palm toward the ceiling. Arm right above your shoulder. Again, bend that elbow. Bring the hand right onto your neck. And then other hand pushes it in. Head pushes back. And you can feel that shoulder opening more. Slide that fingertip area straight down your spine as much as you can. If that's working for you, bring the other arm around. See if you can clasp behind you or not on this side. And again, you can use your shirt or you can use a strap to get those hands closer if they are not yet there. Take a breath, head pushing back. Elbow in the air, reaching up, the one that's down, reaching down, and pulling both of them in toward your spine. As you notice, those lower body parts relaxing a little deeper into that surface beneath you. Take a breath or two, really emphasizing the exhalations, just letting everything move into position as much as your body is ready to do the thing. Deep breaths, tension out. Just let your practice happen. Don't force it. 
And when you're ready to release again, just let go of those hands, or shirts or straps, and move those shoulders around, getting that circulation going. And again, release the legs back into standard position. Take a moment to press out through the bottoms of your feet, through the heels, toes pulling back, sitting down slightly behind you. And then we'll do Roxanne's favorite garden dolphin. So bring your foot up to the inner thigh, right foot to the inner left thigh, knee out to the side. Bend your left knee, bring that heel, that near your hip, but not under it. That hip will be up because we're going to twist. So stretch up through the crown. Keep the core active still, supporting your spine, your lengthening. And then exhale, turning toward that right knee, the first one we did. Hands on your leg or the floor, wherever it's comfortable. We're going to dive our dolphin, so bring your ribs back and your chin down slightly. Exhale, and under the water, dive your forehead toward the knee. And then rotate your face forward, lift the heart and the face up toward the sun and the sky as you breathe in and coming up. So rotating through your range of motion on your own, exhaling down with your breath, inhaling up as you lift your heart and that back bend. So it's a nice forward bend through the whole spine, coming side and under, and then lifting through that upper body, especially into the back leg as you come up. And then the next time you rise to the sun in the sky, just pause at the top. Exhale, turning to the center and releasing your legs. You know, the whole spine a little bit more activated with that twist energy, maybe coming up into your head, getting us ready for our relaxation. But wait, yeah, we've got to dive our doll from the other way. So foot to your inner thigh, knee out to the side, get those sitting bones adjusted behind you. Bend your right leg, knee to the front, heel back where your hip, but not under it. Get that hip slightly up so that it can twist as you lengthen the spine and open those bones for the twist. Turn toward that left knee. And again, dive under on the exhalation. Chin in, forehead coming down toward the knee and as rounded forward then. And then sun and sky, lifting your heart and face as you come up on the inhalations. So you're the dolphin, remember, diving under the water, you want to exit just like you were swimming and inhaling as you breathe in the open air. Get that spine really working, get that full breath capacity working as you do your dolphin dive. And on the next inhalation coming up, just pause again at the top, exhale around to the center and release into step. Feel that spine nicely activated. Keep that core supporting you as you bring your feet to the end of the mat. The foot apart, sitting down slightly behind you. Keep that core working as you slowly roll to onto your sacrum. Your lower ribs, your shoulders, the forward right shoulders, and on your hand. Coming all the way down into first position, just let your body sink and just relax deeply into that earth bone connection. Turn your toes toward each other and then just let your lower, lower body relax. Lots of hip work today, just let that hip area release. Relaxing and then tighten slowly. Circle those shoulders a little bit, turn the palms up slightly away from your hips. Bring that upper body relax down into that surface beneath you. And take a breath. Just relax everything. Let your body grow heavy as you exhale and deepen down into that earth support. And let your body go. Totally relaxing. Scan your body. If there's any tightness anywhere, just take your breath there. Exhale the tightness along with the breath. Let it relax even deeper into that earth support. And as Mother Earth supports you, let your awareness of your body release from your attention. As you do, other thoughts will come to your mind. Let them go as well. There's no need to focus on the content of any thoughts. 
in these memories of the past or anticipation of the future. Let the thoughts drift as easily as your breath in and out without attention. And let your awareness turn inward. Release both your body and your mind, allowing that awareness to fill with the peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to listen to peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing longer today, take all the time you have. And it's time to get ready for the rest of the day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness to lift your breath back to the moment, to the body, to the body. And you move, begin moving your body gently from what it feels right here. So your feet and knees and hips moving, stretching your arms overhead. That feels right for you. And whenever you're ready for your final year of hug of appreciation, sitting by the stretch of heels, pulling your heels up towards your hips, and knees up towards your feet. Wrap your arms around, however feels right for you today, giving yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let people let me know you appreciate it's yoga work today, and the work your body does for you for the day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, feeling better. Or whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining us.